Hey kiddos, we're going to get started on 11-1. It is our last, or sorry, 11-11. It's our very last lesson um, in topic 11. And it's kind of a fun one. It is basically, we're, we're doing riddles today. So you need to pay attention to the clues and make sure um, if you're paying attention to the clues, it'll help you um, solve the problem. Well, you need to pay attention to solve the problem. So the problem is Kate counted the books in her classroom library. So the first clue is the number of books is an even number. Okay, so it's going to be an even number. Clue number one. The number of books is between 200 and 300. The number of books is the sum of two of the numbers below. All right, this is basically... Everything that we have learned inside this entire topic, they're asking you three different ways. We talked about even and odd, we talked about estimating, um, and we talked about adding and, and subtracting. So we've done all that already. So it's an even number. That means it needs to end in a zero, two, four, six, or eight. Um, the number of books is between 200 and 300, and the sum of the two numbers in the number of books is the sum of two number two of these numbers below. What are the two numbers from here? Um, so I'm gonna focus on clue number one. I'm gonna start first. The number of books is an even number. So I know I have to choose two of these numbers for it to be an even number. Now, whenever you add an even to an even number, it equals even plus even, it will always equal an even number. Odd plus odd equals an even number. But when I mix them, even plus odd equals odd. All right, so this would be like zero plus two, two plus four, um, six plus eight, it will always be an even number. Odd plus odd, three plus one, five plus seven, always going to be an even number. Now when I mix these two, that's when we get odd numbers. I'm gonna take a look up here. So I have 180, let's look at my ones digit. Zero, two, five, four, six. Aha! I see that there is an odd number, but all the rest of these are even. I know if I add an even plus odd, it's gonna be an odd, which automatically tells me one of these numbers absolutely cannot be 115. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to my next clue. The number of books is between 200 and 300. So that means the sum of two of these numbers has to be between 200 and 300, okay? So what I need to do is I actually have to add all of these numbers to find their sums to find out that if it's 200, between 200 and 300. So now I'm gonna break it down, down here. Oh, let's use my black marker. Between 200 and 300, so 180 plus 162. Two, 14, ooh, that is above 300, so I know that can cannot work. And if you were estimating, you probably could say uh, 180 plus 160 is 340. You would have already known that. Let's move on. Let's do 162 plus 194. Six, five plus nine, 15, carry the one. Oh, again, too big. Let's do 194 plus 126. Four plus six is 10, carry the one. One and nine make a 10, plus two more is 12. Carry the one, 320. You know what? I am noticing these are all above 300. I'm gonna try the two smallest numbers in here, okay? Let's try 126 and 162. 126, 162. Six plus two is eight. Two plus six is eight. One plus one is two. Is 288? In between 200 and 300? Yes, it is. All right, so my two numbers have to be 126 and 162. 
Um, don't be so hard on yourself on this lesson. It's going to be a little bit trickier. I would do it uh, with a parent for sure or at least an older sibling. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.